Hello everyone and welcome to the Panorama Guide. In this video, I want to cover mainly how to edit the pano after it's taken, but also cover off on a few points on how to take them to increase your success rate. And lastly, if you get it wrong in the field, how to correct it. So first off, when you're taking your pano, preparation is key. You want to set up your gear and make sure that your tripod is level if you're using a tripod. Um, not only that, but you want to find or go into the settings and find the digital level in your camera so you can level both your tripod and your camera. Because if you don't, then when you're panning across, just say you're doing a 180 degree panorama, then you'll be off axis and the software finds it hard to stitch sometimes. So if you've got everything level, um, you're gonna have a better chance of getting the panorama. Um, you can go one step further and use a panoramic head. Um, I'll put a photo up just to show you if you don't, if you're not familiar with it, but you can put all different degrees for your focal length. Um, it's a really good tool to use and that will increase your success rate. Um, for this image here, I think for both of these, <coughs> I was shooting at 14 mil. Um, I decided to use a 15 degree angle uh, setting on the panoramic head. Um, and that, that gave me a pretty big overlap. So with your overlap percentage, you want to try and aim at least 40% and up to about 75%. <clears throat> um, you can, I guess, jump into the field and take a few test panoramas and see what works for you. Um, your focal length will change that. Um, and I've got a few different examples here today. So we can get into stitching the panorama. Um, we'll go with this one first. This is taken uh, up at Cape York on my last trip. Wasn't really a photography trip, but I got some got some photos anyway. <laughs> um, so what you want to do is just click the first image, shift click uh, the last image, and then you can come down here and remove chromatic aberration. Uh, profile corrections, this can be good and bad. Um, if I do that, it's not too bad with this image, but um, this is mainly for the sky and then a separate one for the ground. But for the ground ones at like a really high ISO, um, it can introduce heaps of color noise. So use that however you want. But we can do both those and then we can just go sync, check all, synchronize. And that's done. And once that's all done, we can just right click, uh, photo merge, and then panorama. Now we'll have three different options here. Uh, usually the first two are the ones that you're going to go with. Uh, it's just going to create a preview. So that one's stitched together pretty perfectly. Um, we can try these other ones, see what comes out. That's a bit crazy. And then this one hardly ever merges <laughs> for me anyway. Um, so this one's the most natural and perfect looking one. You can fill edges, but I tend to stay away from that. It depends. Um, if it does a good job, you could do with and without. Um, but I'm just going to leave as is because I'll probably just crop it anyway. Um, there's an auto crop feature, but uh, I like to jump into Photoshop and just pull up the edges with the warp tool. Um, but if you're time sensitive, you can just click a button and it's all done. You can have auto settings, but <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, leave it as that. And then you can create a stack so they're not all spread out like this. So I'm just going to go like that, merge, and then it's going to create that panorama. Okay, so the panorama is finished. There you can see it. Stitched really well. Um, you can zoom in and go make sure there's no stitching marks because sometimes you'll have 
uh, lines all through the image, but this looks pretty good. Um, so there's three, or oh, there's lots of different softwares that you can use, but for me personally, I will put all my photos into Lightroom. I'll stitch it in Lightroom, see if it stitches. Um, if it struggles with Lightroom, you can try Photoshop. Photoshop sometimes will stitch it differently and you'll get a different output um, or a different result. So you could try those two things. And then <clears throat> if you're really struggling, uh, there's a software called PT GUI. Um, and that's like a panorama stitching software. So it's way more advanced than uh, Photoshop and Lightroom. So they're your three main options, I would say. And now there's three things that are gonna happen with your panoramas and that's one, like this one, it stitches perfectly fine. Um, two, which I'm gonna show you uh, with this other panorama that I shot, it will stitch together, but at the same time, uh, it might not be as perfect as this and you'll need to correct it. Um, you can try and do that in PT GUI if it doesn't stitch correctly, or you can just, if you can correct it in Photoshop, it's a bit finicky um, and time consuming, but yeah, that's, that's another option. And then the last one is it doesn't stitch at all. And that's pretty devastating when that happens, but you can try all different softwares. And then if nothing works, then, um, last resort is manually stitching and that's an absolute nightmare um, but there is a fair few options so moving on to this other one gonna shift click them i'll sync all these that's done right click photo merge panorama We'll get our preview here in a second. So see here, this is, um, it didn't stitch together really well. Um, we can save this. I'm just gonna try some of these and that's not gonna work. So we're just gonna go with this, merge that. Um, and then we will put this into Photoshop and, and I'll show you how to correct it. And also one important thing that I forgot to say, when you're taking the images, you wanna make sure that you're on manual mode, manual settings and uh, yeah, manual focus and manual white balance. Because if you have like, I don't know, um, 32 Kelvin here and then 6,000 over here. You're gonna have like a blue image here and then a uh, orange tile there. So it's not gonna look great and it can ruin your panorama because it's very hard to color correct. So we've got this. You can right click, uh, edit and just open it in Photoshop. So once it's in here, uh, we don't really want any of those stars that have been smushed together. Um, but I will crop it because this is all dead space. Don't really need that. Um, you can mess around with what uh, aspect ratio you want, but I reckon just something like that. We can do a custom one, doesn't really matter. All right, so here I like to use these guides and have one for roughly the ground and then um, you can have one in the middle of both axis and then we can pretty much start to get warping. Um, you can do, I think it's control or command J on a Mac. Um, make a copy in case you screw it up. 
controller command T and now right click and then warp now this can be pretty time consuming um, but I may speed this up a little bit but you pretty much just want to try and keep the Milky Way looking as natural as possible um, but the main thing is you're just trying to stretch it down so it'll look normal and natural it doesn't have to be perfect especially with this shot because it's a track shot um, I'm not going to use the foreground so as long as the the Milky Way is looking not too bad then um, we'll get there in the end so for this one I just pretty much looking for that that perfect arch and what you don't want to do is like kind of squish it all together like that you want to still have the stars nice and round once you're done just press the tick box I'll just get rid of that other layer and put this in the middle and we can just crop this down I'll just get rid of that something like that So that's pretty close. You can fine tune it however you want. Um, let's clear guides. Uh, I'll just get rid of this a little bit. Radio. Alright, so once that's done, you've corrected it. So you've gone from something crazy like this and then fixed it all up and it's all good again. Um, so other than that, then you can just go on to edit your uh, Milky Way or your daytime photo, whatever it is, your landscape. Um, and then yeah hopefully that will fix some of your issues um, and help you with your panoramas so yeah thanks for watching and good luck out there cheers